Hello and welcome back to our Pokemon Gold Sigma Nuzlocke. This is part 22 in this episode. We're here in the Team Rocket Underground base, ready to go ahead, fight ourselves some Electrodes, and after that we're going to be going ahead and taking on the Mahogany Gym. But first of all, we have ourselves some Pokemon to heal up, I believe. It's actually not as bad as I thought. We only have Luxray that really needs to be healed. Uh, so we'll get Luxray healed up, we'll go into ourselves a little bit of a fight. In between episodes, I did go ahead and change the, um, the audio from stereo to mono to see if that would help with some of the popping issues for the audio. We'll see. I haven't really tested it, but I'm hoping. Hold it right there. Oh right, we actually have the battle as well, I kind of forgot about that. We can't have a brat like you on the loose, it's harmful to Team Rocket's pride, you see. However strong you may be, you can't take both of us at the same time. I probably could, but you know what? A double battle will make it easier, so when Lance wants to turn up, that's fine. Sorry, baby, now get ready to be thrashed. Lance gliding in like a Dragonite, screaming like a Dragonite. Lance is a Dragonite confirmed, by the way. Hey, don't be so selfish, spread the fun around. What, you had an accomplice? Where's your sense of honor? Same place as yours. As the interim boss in place of Giovanni, I'll show you how wrong it is to meddle with Team Rocket. Okay, the popping is actually significantly less on my end. It is actually like, I don't know, maybe a tenth of the volume of what it was before. So that's so much better for me. Okay, this I can deal with. This isn't gonna like, make my eyes pop out of my skull. Arbok. Arbok can learn many moves, one of which is Crunch, and that scares me. So we're gonna go right out into Golem, because Golem is a very, very trustworthy Pokemon. Acid. We would have been fine staying in against that, but honestly it does no damage to either of our Pokemon. We can go for the Magnitude and see how much it does. If we can land a Magnitude 10 crit, I would be very, very happy indeed. Magnitude 7. Nice and average. Perfectly in the middle of what we can get. And it still takes it out in one hit. Okay. That was a perfectly average magnitude. About to send in pure ugly. Do we want to swap that? I don't think so. Why is she bringing this in against my rock type? Don't do anything weird. Faint attack. That's fine. Good thing we didn't go into Gengar. Okay. Magnitude, Magnitude 7. Nice and average. We'll see how much it does again. Okay. Does half. Looks fine. Faint attack does no damage. I don't know why this Pokemon was brought in before her other Pokemon. Unless her other Pokemon is super weak to ground or rock. I mean... It's fine, I guess. We get the Magnitude 9. Everything works out well. And then you also have Scun Tank. That's why. Because it's weak to ground. Okay. Seems like our trusty golem is one of the best Pokemon we could possibly have. Minimized, that sucks. Don't get fully paralyzed, don't get fully paralyzed. Okay, land it. Okay, magnitude eight. This on the positive side, we might one shot. There we go, okay. I was not worried about this battle for a good reason. Golem is very, very strong. If you were to join Team Rocket, you could become an executive. If I was to join Team Rocket, I could lead Team Rocket, okay? I don't want to settle for executive, let me make that clear. The side out was done for, but that's fine. The broadcast experiment was a total success. It doesn't matter what happens to this hideout now, we have, a much, we have much bigger plans. Ooh. You'll come to appreciate Team Rocket's true power soon enough. Enjoy yourself while you can. I don't... wait. Was she about to say something else? But it cut? Weird. That did it, we defeat all the rockets here, but I'm concerned about the young guy about in the process. Sorry, Carlos, I saw how well you were doing, so I just hung back. Now all there is to do is turn off that odd radio signal by slapping ourselves some electrodes. I'm ready. It's this machine that's causing all the problems. I don't see a switch on it. We have no choice. We have to make all the electrode faint. That should stop this machine from transmitting that strange signal. It's no fault of the Pokemon, so it makes me feel guilty. We'll split the job. See, these are technically, technically static encounters, okay? However, I'm not going to catch them. I'm just gonna bop them. If this was a randomizer and all of the static encounters were random, then I probably would. 
but these are just standard level 23 electros, and I just don't... One, I don't care enough to train or use them. Two, it feels kind of cheap to suddenly get three encounters of the same Pokemon. I guess you could argue the same thing about Snorlax, but when we get to Snorlax, we'll catch one of them and not the other, I guess. Because Dupes is in effect. So I suppose we can do that later on, provided that I remember, of course. Uh, but that'll be fine. I don't really want to just go and have free Electro suddenly join the team. So we'll wrap things up here, and then we'll go ahead and see if we can get into Mahogany Gym. Now, I don't remember if we can go straight into the gym, or if we need to do something over on the, the area to the right first. I know we have the Ice Path leading to Black Fawn and all that stuff. I don't think we have to do anything for Price. I think he's just in his gym as is. So I think we can go in straight away. The question is, do I think our team is ready? That odd signal has finally stopped. The lake should be back to normal. You're the hero. Let me thank you on behalf of all the Pokemon. Oh yes, you should take this rare Pokemon. Did you see me? I found it while I was training when I was a bit younger. Clam Pearl. Clam Pearl? Holds an interesting move called Whirlpool. You can use Whirlpool to get across wild water. But keep this in mind. You can use it. Wait, do I have to use a Clam Pearl for Whirlpool? Do I have to have a Clam Pearl on my team? I don't want a Clam Pearl. Carlos, the journey to becoming the Pokemon Master is long and difficult. Yeah, if you make them use a Clam Pearl, it is pretty difficult. Knowing that, will you keep going? I don't know, honestly. That's That kind of sucks. I see. No, you're right. But don't agree with me. If you would give up that easily, you would never have chased the dream in the first place. I mean, yeah, that's totally what I said. I look forward to seeing you again. Do we actually have to use a clam pearl? What else learns Whirlpool? Because we don't have the HM for it. Actually, let me just double check. I don't think we have the HM for it. What would it normally be? HM07? HM08? Yeah, we don't have... we don't have Whirlpool. Oh, do I actually have to use this clam pearl? Gross! We have to battle Price as well. We can do that straight away though, which is good. Alright, well, I guess we uh, have a look at the clam pearl and see what we're rocking with. For some modest nature, I mean, I guess it could be good. Calm nature, which is okay. Wait, holding TM21? Is... Well, Paul's a HM, right? Right? Maybe it's not. Maybe it's not in this game. I'm really hoping. TM21 Whirlpool. Okay, thank... Thank something. Thank something indeed. Wait, Lanoon can learn it. I'm not gonna lie, I really like Slowbro's moveset. And I never want to use Sand Attack. I don't think I've clicked Sand Attack in like 30 episodes. And we're only at episode 22, so that's saying a lot. All right, okay, we're gonna get rid of Sand Attack for Whirlpool. I am absolutely fine with that. It gives us like a weird niche typing on Lanoodle, which I mean, Lanoodle's all about weird niche typings as is. And that way we can keep Ice Beam and all of our other good moves on Slowbro. Honestly, I'm just thankful we don't have to use Clamp Pearl, if I'm perfectly honest. I am very, very thankful that we don't have to use that. Clamp Pearl, get out of here. Uh, I will have a quick look at its IVs and stats though, just in case we want to use it. Obviously we have ourselves a Shiny Gyarados, which I would much rather use than Clamp Pearl, but we'll have a look anyway. Uh, a plus an attack, which we aren't using, so that kind of sucks. Uh, e minus and special defense, which kind of sucks. Everything else is pretty average. Has rattled, which is a... Uh, it boosts speed when you get hit by bug, dark, and ghost type moves. I think that's right. With water gun, clamp, whirlpool, and iron defense. Overall, pretty, uh, 
pretty, pretty standard moveset, nothing too crazy about it. It's not like we got given a shiny clam pearl, it's just a, it's just a clam pearl at the end of the day. So that's kind of weird, but sure. Now then, who do we want to use in this gym? Right, so we have ourselves one resistance, two weaknesses to ice. And our resistance to ice doesn't have a crazy high special defense stat. If we have to fight ourselves like a Piloswine or a Mamoswine, Slowbro is going to be super useful. If we have to fight like a Frostlass, I'm going to be very, very afraid. Frostlass is a very, very, very intimidating Pokemon for our team. So keeping that in mind, let's go ahead and start ourselves this gym battle, I guess. Bryce is a veteran who has trained Pokemon for some 50 years. He's said to be good at freezing opponents with Ice-type moves. That means you should melt him with your burning ambition. We don't have a Fire-type. I don't even think we have a Fire-type in our box, which says a lot. Um... I'm gonna lead with Lanoodle. Actually, you have an item. Jaboka Berry. Don't know what that does, but I will take it. What is... Who's holding what? Lucky Egg, Amulet Coin, and that's about it. Okay. Also, we should heal up before we go into the gym. We should definitely heal up before we go into the gym. I don't want to go into the gym with a paralyzed rock type. Because while Golem is weak to ice, ice is also weak to Golem. Which, uh, which isn't my favorite because Golem isn't the fastest Pokemon, and we also don't have 100% accurate rock type moves, so that is unfortunate. But let's hope for the best. Basically, we're going to go into this hoping for the best. I don't know what levels we're going to be looking at either. There are a lot of factors that I am not aware of yet, but let's just go ahead and jump into this. This gym has a slippery floor. It's fun, isn't it? But hey, we're not playing games here. It is kind of fun, I will admit. Ice puzzles are probably my favorite puzzles in all of Pokemon. They are some pretty good puzzles. My least favorite has to be uh, whatever you call the stuff at the Unknown Ruins. That, that stuff, that stuff sucks. Those puzzles, the, they aren't fun, okay? They're really tedious and boring. They're not hard as such, they're just boring. Ice puzzles, you get to slide. They're pretty fun. There's probably a puzzle that I'm forgetting about uh, that's even more annoying and possibly even more fun. I might be forgetting one of the fun ones. So, I hope not. Uh, level 38. Okay, so looking at levels, we should be pretty much on par. I imagine the ace is going to be above level 40, maybe like 42. But I feel like we can fight a level 42. As long as it's not like a level 42 Frostlass, because that Pokemon actually scares me. The fall of a Frostlass in this gym does scare me. As long as it's not that, we should be fine. If it's a level 42 Mamoswine, it could hurt, but I think Slowbro would be okay. I think. No confirmation on that, obviously. Uh, we are still dealing with these good old trainers with potions that I still haven't forgot about. Aurora Beam is going to do 20 damage. Close. Close. Another Hype Potion? Alright, you get you get sped up when you do it twice, okay? <laughs> you get sped up when you do it twice. That's just rude. Do you see how serious we are? Yeah, yeah, I see. I see exactly what you're talking about. You're gonna use a bunch of potions and be as annoying as physically possible. I completely get it. Uh, let's go ahead. I want to put Audium in front. Audium is not gonna be useful in this gym. In fact, Audium isn't gonna be useful in the next gym either. Audium just isn't gonna be super useful. And I guess I have to accept that. If you don't skate with precision, you won't get far in this gym. I thought this was a battle, that's why I ran over here. But I just ended up trapping myself and falling through. Is the trainers down here? No, it resets me back to the start. How does that work? How does... okay. Alright, so we can go down this way, I guess. That works. I still find it weird that wasn't a trainer. Oh, we don't have a lot of choice but to go to here. How do we want to do this? Uh, 
Uh, I see something. If we go around like this. Yep, that works. I know price is secret. Secret, you say? Is he lying about his age? Is he actually, like, over a hundred? He might be. He genuinely might be. I don't know. What kind of secret? I want to know the secret. I want to win this battle just so I can find out. Is his secret, like, his favorite type isn't even ice types? It's actually, um... Just Bidoof. He doesn't like Pokemon other than Bidoof. Which, obviously, completely understandable. To be honest, I feel like everyone's a little bit like that way. No other Pokemon really compares, you know? <laughs> Fun little question of the day. What is your favorite... I have to phrase this carefully. Um, what is your favorite stupid Pokemon? I didn't phrase that carefully at all. Okay, great. <laughs> Pokemon that are a little bit derpy. Like, for example, Sveal and Bidoof and Pokemon like that. To be honest, I don't know if I even have a favorite. This is a very difficult question that no one would ever think of casually on their day-to-day -day basis. But, uh... There are definitely some stupid Pokemon. I don't have a decision. Maybe I'll leave a decision in a, in a comment on the video or something and when I've thought about it a little bit more. But... Favorite stupid Pokemon. I guess Derpy would be a better way of putting it than stupid. Favorite Derpy Pokemon, we'll go with that. Uh, we finally get a crit on this field so he will stop using potions. Hooray, we did it. Cloyster. Honestly, Cloyster has no special defense. I think we're just gonna stay in and go for Shadow Ball. Yes, Thunder Punch is super effective, but honestly, just hitting it on the special side does so much more. What is it, base 180 physical defense to 50 special defense or 45 special defense? We're just, we're just gonna go for Shadow Ball. Is it an Oko? It's not an Oko. Well... That does a little bit of damage. There is no way a Cloyster outspeeds me, so we can go for the Shadow Ball just fine. Protect! Okay. I respect the attempt to whittle me down with Hail, but the Hail stopped, which means that we're fine. And we have Lemonades, so we can just heal up. All of your plan was for naught. Very sorry. You failed. Trying to learn Destiny Bond? Absolutely not. Not a chance. Nope, we have no intention of letting this Gengar go. Yes, that move can definitely be useful in a certain situation where we're getting absolutely bodied by a certain set of Pokemon, but no. The secret behind Price is power. He meditates under a waterfall daily to strengthen his mind and body. So he's Chuck. The reason he's so strong is because he's actually a different gym leader in disguise. It's actually just Chuck. And no one's figured out that he just- it's just Chuck in a ninja outfit. Isn't that what he wears? Something like a ninja outfit? I could have that very wrong. <laughs> I don't remember Price's design that well. But uh... Yeah, that's it. Just Chuck. Uh, we're gonna put the noodle back in front, give him some XP, and do we have another puzzle? I hope so. We do. Alright, which way do we want to start off from here? Probably going to the left, because the right looks like it's just going to get me trapped in a corner. So we're going to go left. Do you bow? I shouldn't have bragged about my skiing. Why not? Brag all you like. Uh, well, this wasn't exactly a very difficult puzzle, but okay. Are we going straight into the gym battle? No, we get another puzzle? This is great. I love this. Well, we have to go to here. We have three directions that we can take. And it seems like there are some spots that are going to break immediately when I step on them. Or are they going to stop me when I step on them? Now, I'm not sure. Where is my end goal? What? Where, where are the stairs? Wait a minute. We're going over to here. We're going to here? Is this like a switch? I'll freeze your Pokemon so you can't do anything. Did I hit a switch just there? Is that what I did? 
Did I activate the status? Skiff, uh, Nan sends out seal. Okay. But the question is... Did I hit a switch? I'm very confused. Icy wind. We get slowed by that, which is a little bit annoying, but should be fine. Yeah, there's 14 damage. Impressive seal. Seal isn't even an ice type. Seal's pure water. You're a fake, a phony. Get it out of here. Disgraceful. Absolutely disgraceful. Dugong, on the other hand, Dugong is beautiful. Dugong is one of my favorite Dabby Pokemon, to be truly honest. Dugong's great. I could use Audium against these Pokemon. It's fine. It's fine. Audium's gonna take a back seat for a little bit. Audium, honestly, I'm still contemplating whether I want to just straight up replace it with Execute. Harvest is such a good ability, and if we have a Citrus Berry, which I haven't checked, but if we have one, that could be such a good ability. Snow Run. Snow Run is a great Pokemon as well. I like a lot of the Pokemon in this gym. I don't like the fact that there's a Snow Run, which implies that Frostlass can be in this gym, though, because Frostlass still scares me. I need to figure out what Pokemon I want to use against Frostlass, if any. Probably Luxray, honestly. That or Golem. Golem getting hit by an Ice Beam? Mm, yeah, I don't like that. Point proven by the Ice Beam right there. Point proven. And we have the Hyper Potions, obviously, but it's fine. We have speed, we just have to get through them. I don't, I don't really love the idea of every single trainer having <laughs> two Hyper Potions, even if it is in a gym. Alright, so did I hit a switch? No. And I do fall through these, which I just decided to test right there anyway. What do I need to do to activate the stairs then? Do I have to hit every single spot? I do, don't I? I have to hit every single spot. Okay. Okay. Yeah, these are making a noise. I definitely have to hit every single spot. Got it. Okay. This shouldn't be too hard. <laughs> okay, okay, alright. Listen, it shouldn't be too hard. You also have to remember, I'm dumb. Okay, it's fine. I think we started off right. We just messed up here? Why did we mess up here? Last time I just went straight to the right and I ignored this entire corner. Which honestly I would still like to do. Can I even hit the things in this corner? Am I missing something here? I mean I have to go up here, I have to go down, I have to go right. And then to get out, I have to go up. How do you deal with that corner? Do I have something wrong about the switches? Are these not switches? Am I missing something? Maybe I'm missing something. Oh, well, that was dumb. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Let's just do what we did the first time. Get to here, and then I went right, which stepped me on this. That makes a noise. I can't go to the left from here, I guess. Even if I go down, like that doesn't that doesn't change anything. Wait, the stairs are active. So that white spot is the switch, which means, okay, right, ignoring the fact that I just did that, okay, never mind, I don't have to hit them all. I was going to say, I was really trying to work out how to do that corner, and that just wouldn't work. Alright, we just do what we did the first time. 
absolutely what I did the first time. And then from here I just want to do this. See, that's what I was going to do the first time about the trainer, but this wasn't active, and I don't get why. I still don't understand what I, I did wrong the first time. But okay, <laughs> sure. That's part of the problem, when you don't get why you've got it wrong. Let's go here. Oh, yikes. Okay. Let's work backwards from the end, sure, sure. Uh, okay. This might take a little while. This, this might be a little bit of a puzzle, but sure, that's fine. Alright, we're gonna go here. That doesn't really help us. About here. That works very well. Okay, guess that's what we're doing. How do we want to lead off into this fight? The noodle is true neutral. We can't go wrong as such by leading with the noodle. Because the noodle is neutral to every type other than fighting, and there's no such thing as an ice fighting type other than the crab, which sucks. So even if he had a crabominable, I'd laugh at it. And then probably get bopped by it, honestly, because our team doesn't deal with ice fighting well. But still, we're fine. Pokemon have many experiences in their lives just like we do. I, too, have seen and suffered much in my life. Since I am your elder, let me show you what I mean. I have been with Pokemon since before you were born. I do not lose easily. I, Price, the Winter Trainer, shall demonstrate my power. Okay, Chuck. Alright, we, we know the deal. You don't need to try and pretend. Okay. It's fine. Right, what are we dealing with? Six Pokemon. Leading with Celio. We are going to immediately swap into Luxray. And my reasoning for that is he has six Pokemon. So we're going to need, honestly, Lanoodle at full health just so we can potion up other Pokemon at some point. I'm sure of it. Surf, how much that can do? I don't like how much that did. I really don't. However, he shouldn't have a stronger move than Surf. Absolutely not. So we're going for Thunder Punch. It's it's a little bit risky, but I mean, we're already stuck in a... That didn't take him out. I really thought that might... Okay. Uh, we're both going to potion up this turn, I'm sure. But, wasting his potions right now is something that I am absolutely happy to do. If I could take the Celio back down to 1 HP again, and we could waste all of his potions on this Pokemon, that'd be great. Yep, there's a potion down. Honestly, I'm like convinced somewhere in my mind that he has a Mamoswine, so if I get rid of the potions now, that's only a benefit. And this time we do take him out in one. Okay, that's fine. We keep all of our Pokemon at full health, and we've got a potion down. That's fine. Pilot Swine. It begins. <laughs> it begins. Alright, what are we dealing with with Pilot Swine? What level are we looking at? 43. Pilot Swine might actually just be his ace. Earthquake. <sighs> okay, that's a crit. Okay, that's a crit. Okay, that's a crit. Okay, okay. Alright, I I got a little bit scared there, I will admit. I got a little bit scared. Leftovers. Right, we are gonna hype potion. I don't wanna see a crit ever again. Withdrew. To go into Vaporeon? Why Vaporeon? Also, Vaporeon's not an ice type. <laughs> okay. Okay. We could go into Lux Ray. I kind of want to stay in. I'm going to assume this Vaporeon has something to hit me. We're going to go for Shadow Ball. Hail. Okay. If it's just Hail. Oh, that did, that did. That's some yikes damage right there. The Vaporeon also gets hit by Hail. Oh, and then withdraws. 
to go into Sneasel. Oh, we have strats happening right here. Oh no. Oh, oh no, wait, hold on. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute, we're swapping. We don't deal with Sneasel well either. Sneasel is not a Pokemon that our team particularly likes. Lanoodle is honestly one of the best options here. Golem might be another option. Depending on how much we get hit for, bite. That hurts a bit. Hale is still active. He might have an ability buffing his physical attack. So I just want a potion and see if he has Ice Punch. My plan right now is check and see if he has Ice Punch. Are we seeing Ice Punch? Bite. If it's just Bite, we should be fine to just go for an X Scissor. Bite again. We get flinched, okay. Hail stops, which is nice. Sadly, he gets a free turn to go ahead and set that up again, because we got flinched. Which is unfortunate. Maybe he doesn't have hail on the Sneasel. Crush Claw. Which does less than bite, so that's fine. Bite, don't flinch me. We're meant to be the flinch master, okay? Me. Me. We're the one that used headbutt on this Pokemon. Is this is this revenge? Blizzard. Special attack is pretty low on Sneasel. And then we have to potion again. This. This sucks. <laughs> you know all of that good luck Lanoodle had with Headbutt? I think all of it is coming back as karma right now. x -Scissor. Hey, we have that move. That's what I'm trying to hit you with. x -Scissor. Don't you do it. What is my luck? What is this? Where did all of my luck go? Where did it go? Why? Do we just go into Taco and go for like a Rock Blast? Or do we go into Luxray and go for a Thunder Punch? Or do we try and outspeed with Gengar and go for a Dazzling Gleam? I like... Hmm. I like that plan, but Sneasel's really fast. We're gonna just go into Golem. Which I'm probably gonna regret immediately, but we're gonna go for the Rock Blast. Blizzard misses. Okay, perfect. Right. I'm sad. Lanoodle's been with us for a while now. I didn't want Lanoodle to go. And it went to such stupid luck. God, that's annoying. Dugong. Okay, well that's not a fight that we're staying in against. We have Luxray for that. Luxray should win this matchup every single time. Dugong's level 45! We're just gonna go for the Thunder Punch. Can we get a crit in return? O okay, I... I asked for it, I suppose. I wasn't expecting that. I'm a little bit in shock, but that's good, I guess. Piloswine, right. Uh, well, there's no way we don't go into Slowbro for this, seeing as what happened before. So we go into Slowbro, we surf. He has two Pokemon left after this. If one of them is a Frostlass. The, the Dugong was level 45. And I really thought Piloswine was his ace. You need to stop, Price. You need to stop right now with these crits. I'm not, I'm, my smile is gone. I am actually in a, in a little, little bit of fear. No, 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 no. 
No, our team sucks against Frostlass. Why did it have to be a Frostlass? We're gonna try and Thunder Wave. First thing we are doing is we are trying to Thunder Wave. This is gonna be bad. Fight. Thunder Wave. Ice Beam. It's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt a lot. Okay, okay, okay. That did a lot less than I was expecting. And I mean a lot less. I don't like how much it did, so I'm gonna Lemonade, because we can rely on the Paralyzed chance a little bit. But it did a lot less than I was expecting. Full Heal. Because that did so much less than I was expecting, and no, we're still gonna fund away. <laughs> I'm still just gonna fund away. But I want it to be slower than me. Okay. I'm gonna go for a thunder wave. Just don't crit. I'm gonna scream. I'm gonna actually scream. Now we have to use Gengar against this thing? Why? What is this crit luck? Shadow Ball. Again, can we get a crit in return? Shadow Ball would have just one shot. I made a mistake. Okay, I didn't think it would. I really didn't think it would. Though, my strategy would have still worked just fine, provided that there was no crits. Gengar is going to stay in against the Vaporeon. And we're just going to Shadow Ball and see how much it does. We get a crit. Vaporeon goes for Surf. Surf shouldn't do too much. I take it back. That's a Vaporeon with an incredibly high special attack stat. That's going to do a lot. Citrus Berry restores its health. Okay, we are just going to get on out of here. Into Audium, I guess. I suppose that's what we're doing here. It is weak to Ice, so I really just don't want to get hit by Ice Beam. That did so much damage for a resisted hit. That did so much damage. We're gonna hype potion up. Slow bro, just go for surf. Just go for surf. Just go for surf. That's already on dead. This gym sucks. This battle would be fine, by the way, if Luxray didn't get crit. I feel salty right now. I am actually very, very annoyed. Oh my god, it has rest. This battle's never gonna end. We're gonna have to start speeding up. Because Shadow Ball doesn't do enough damage. We need the special defense drops from Shadow Ball. Hyper Potion. Ha ha. Ha ha ha. Ha ha. Ha ha ha. Ha 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 ha
We win the most tedious fight of all time. That gym sucked, crits suck, and I'm incredibly annoyed with everything that happened there. I am actually really, really annoyed about all of that. We lost La Noodle to a crit, we lost Luxray to a crit. <sighs> Audium, yes, I lost due to myself, but at the same time, that wouldn't have had to happen if Luxray didn't faint, so I'm calling all of those deaths due to crit. Every single one of them was due to crit. How do I get out of here? Wait, what? No, I want to leave. Oh, I go down the halls, okay. Don't anyone battle me. Don't! Tell us how are things going. I sent this message because something weird is happening with the radio broadcast. Don't talk about Team Rocket. Do you know anything about it? Maybe Team Rocket's returned. I don't care. Just let me walk into this Pokemon Center. Don't put anyone in the Pokemon Center. I'm healing up my team. And we are removing some members from our team. Three Pokemon died this episode. Three. That's a lot. That's like doubling our death count nearly. That's actually terrifying. I have some training up to do tonight. Okay, Luxray, you died after the noodle. And Audium, you existed for a little while. I wasn't attached to you, so that's fine. Now, Flaffy, you are our replacement for Luxray. Absolutely. Execute, you are our replacement for our grass type. Now, for our last Pokemon, we have a couple of options. One of which being Sylveon, which I think would be a great addition. It would be nice and powerful. It would give us a different type. And I think that'd be very, very good to have. Uh, we could also take Togepi, but I feel like Sylveon is just better than that in every single way. We could also teach, uh, we could take Gyarados. We could. So the choices that I'm really thinking of are Gyarados and Sylveon. And you know what? I think I'm going to train up Sylveon. It's a different Pokemon. It's not a Pokemon I get to use every day. Lake of Rage. We already have a water type. It's fine. Our team, for next episode, I'm not going to add these three onto the layout just yet, as they are still all to evolve. Our team for next episode will likely consist of an Ampharos, an Executor, and Sylveon. So, if you guys have enjoyed this uh, crit fest of an episode, leave a like down below, hit that subscribe button, and above further ado, bye!